Question three. Read the extract below and answer the questions that follow. So surviving examination. So sitting for an examination has proven to be the most difficult aspect of general student assessments. Most students fail an assessment not because they do not know the content, but because they cannot effectively respond to the questions within the stipulated time. They're talking about you. <laughs> joking, joking, joking. No, Goon is on your side. Knowing your content does not always mean that you are able to effectively answer examination questions since there are factors such as managing anxiety, which play a role in determining your success in an examination. Now, interestingly enough, examination writing skills such as time management are typical life skills because they could be used to deal with daily life demands. Okay, so relatively basic context here like this little blurb is you know it's not really tricky it's just giving you a feel of where we are in your notes so study skills give a definition a definition for the term study skills um well look study skills they refer to the ability to concentrate or perceive information correctly and accurately and to remember what has been studied so the ability to concentrate and to recall that information next 3.2 Differentiate between the following action words as used in the examination question paper. So illustrate and identify. So when illustrating, you would give an example by clearly showing what you mean. Clearly showing, like it's a clear identification of what you mean. But identifying means just find something to, to mention it, to name it. Okay. 3.3, explain one benefit of planning your responses when sitting for an examination. So if you're able to plan, it may enable you to focus on what is actually required from a question so that you're able to formulate, to develop your responses according to the core instruction of the question. So you can just focus on what's actually required. So you focus your answer and it allows you to affect some changes to your answer. So you can make some changes before compiling the final answer, just chop and change. So you can figure, okay, this is the best possible answer in the situation. So make changes. 3.4, discuss two ways in which you could effectively deal with anxiety during an examination session. So firstly, you could take a few moments to just do some breathing exercises. Breathe, breathe. Okay, and obviously not like that. Okay, but you, you know what I mean? Which may help you to calm your nerves and get rid of any feelings of worry. You could assure yourself that you have studied adequately enough for that particular examination paper, which may change your negative thought patterns and help you to dismiss any fear of failure. So breathe and reassure yourself. 3.5. Assess how time management skills could assist you to perform effectively in your grade 12 assessments. So time management, it could enable you to just prioritize what's important, but this may say, sorry, this may assist you to meet deadlines and targets for assessments with just a bit more ease. So prioritize and meet deadlines, targets. And just to do some more proper scheduling and planning of tasks, monitor the time that you spend on each task, etc., etc. set goals. 3.6, how would you adapt your reading skills to respond effectively to examination questions? Now in each answer, also indicates how that could improve your ability to gain the maximum amount of marks per question. So. There are, again, a myriad of answers at play here. So, put a name three. Put it on the right-hand side. So, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Lo español, amigo. Okay, so you could practice the skill to do reflective reading to skim and scam in order to do whatever you like. So, to get an overall meaning of the question and relate the text. So reflective reading, skimming, scamming, and then recalling what you've skimmed and scammed. Develop your reading speed as well, which may help you to read a question or its related text and stimuli just a bit more fluidly and to absorb information easier and just overall promote concentration. So reading speed, speed. Read actively, whereby you may learn to do the following. You know, consider titles, subheadings, charts, graphs, captions. Determine what you understand or, well, what you do not understand about the question and stimuli. And just identify the key aspects and to evaluate those key aspects again. So reading more actively and, well, doing it strategically as well. Or just take that on actively. So yeah, nice little question three here for you guys.